So, welcome back again students to another video lesson. So, after ko pong i-discuss sa inyo yung introduction of linear inequalities in two variables as well as yung difference between linear e equations and linear inequalities. So, we will now be graphing linear inequalities in two variables. So, last quarter, na ipakita ko sa inyo kung paano i-graph yung linear equations in two variables. So, ngayon naman, linear inequalities in two variables naman ang ating i-graph. So, let's start. So, for our lesson objectives, of course, we will be graphing linear inequalities in two variables by following the steps. So, may mga steps po kasi akong i-discuss sa inyo kung paano i-graph yung linear inequalities in two variables. So, graphing linear inequalities in two variables. The graph of a linear inequality in two variables is the set of all points in the coordinate plane whose ordered pairs satisfy the given inequality. When you graph a line in a coordinate plane, it divides the plane into two regions called half plane. The line that divides the plane is called the plane divider. As you can see, meron tayo diyang straight line na nakagraph sa coordinate plane and then hinahati niya yung coordinate plane into two regions. So, yung tawag po dun sa nagdi-divide na yon is plane divider, of course. And then, hinati niya sa dalawang portion yung coordinate plane. Meron tayo dyang uh, half plane, and then yung upper portion, and then lower portion. So, isa lang po dyan sa half plane na yan, isang portion lang po dyan ang isi-shade natin sa linear inequalities na igagraph natin. So, here are the steps in graphing linear inequalities in two variables. First, we will replace the inequality symbol with an equal sign. So, ang graph po ng linear inequality, wala po siyang pinagkaiba sa graph ng linear equation. So, straight line pa rin po yun. Ang pinagkaiba lang po is yung may shaded region na po kasing linear inequality. And then, graph the resulting equation by getting the x and y intercepts. So, Yung inequality symbol, pinaglitan natin ng equal sign, kaya naging linear equation siya. And then, in order for us to graph uh, the given uh, inequalities, kailangan maging linear equation siya. And then, kukunin natin doon yung x and y intercepts. So, in next uh, step natin, so we will be identifying what type of line will be used. So, dalawa po kasi ang klase ng line na ginagamit natin sa pag ng linear inequalities in two variables. So, we have broken line at solid line. So, paano natin malalaman kung broken line? If the inequality symbol of the given is either less than or greater than, use a broken line. So, on the other hand, use a solid line if the inequality symbol of the given is either less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. So, madali lang naman pong tandaan yan. Once na wala pong equal sa ibaba, yung guhit sa ibaba, broken line po yun. And then kapag may guhit sa baba na nagde-denote na parang equal, so we use solid line. Next, determine which part of the plane will be shaded by choosing one test point. So, para malaman natin kung uh, anong portion nung plane, yung isi-shade natin, kailangan natin mamili ng one test point. So, usually, ang ginagamit nilang test point dito is yung origin, yung 0, 0, para mas madali na lang. And then, if the coordinates of the point makes the inequality true, shade the half plane or the region on one side of the plane where the point lies. So, kapag namili tayo ng point dun sa coordinate plane at naging true siya, dun sa portion na yun, natin siya isi-shade. So, halimbawa, ginrap natin yung line. And then, yung test point na pinili natin is yung, sa, yung mga points na nasa itaas sa upper portion nung line na yon So, kapag naging true yon yung upper portion po na yon ang ating si shade. And then, kapag naging false naman yon yung kabaligtaran ng upper portion, sa lower portion po natin is si shade. So, let's have example number 1. Graph x plus y is greater than 3. So, yung una nating step, 
para magrap natin yung given inequality, replace the inequality symbol with an equal sign. So, ibig sabihin po, it will become x plus y is equal to 3. So, yung inequality symbol natin na greater than, papalitan po natin siya ng equal sign. So, as you can see, magiging linear equation po siya. So, after nating i-change yung inequality symbol into equal sign, next step natin, we will grab the resulting equation by getting the x and y intercepts. To get the x intercept, we set y to 0. And then, to get the y intercept, we set x to 0. So, ayan, yung resulting equation po natin kanina is x plus y is equal to 3. Ngayon, para kunin natin yung x intercept niya, Ang gagawin natin, yung y, isaset natin siya to 0. So, magiging ganito siya. x plus 0 is equal to 3. So, and that is equal to x equals 3. So, paano natin isusulat yung x-intercept? So, kapag ordered pair po kasi, tatandaan nyo lang, nauuna yung variable x, or yung x-coordinate, tapos yung y-coordinate. So, susulat lang po natin to as 3, 0. So, yan po yung x intercept. Then, for y-intercept, sulat lang natin yung equation, x plus y is equal to 3, and then, we will be substituting 0 in place of x. So, maging 0 plus y is equal to 3, and then y is equal to 3. Now, how are we going to write y-intercept? So, since y ito, mauuna po yung, yung x-coordinate, which is 0. So, isusulat lang natin siya as 0, 3. So, kapag sinulat po kasi natin 3, 0, that is x-intercept, not y-intercept. Tandaan, pag x-intercept, yung 0 nasa huli. Pag y-intercept, yung 0 nasa unahan. Next, after nating uh, kunin yung x and y-intercept, we will be identifying what type of line will be used. Okay. Since the inequality symbol of the given is greater than, a broken line will be used in graphing. So, kitang-kita naman po, yung inequality symbol na ating given is greater than. Wala po siyang guhit sa ibaba. So, kaya ang gagamitin po natin is broken line. Ayan po yung itsura ng broken line. Next. Determine which part of the plane will be shaded by choosing one test point. So, after natin i-identify kung anong klaseng line yung gagamitin natin sa pag -rap, so pipili ngayon tayo ng isang test point para malaman natin anong portion or part ng plane ang isi-shade natin. So, let's use the ordered pair 4-1. So, ang gagawin lang natin dito is isa-substitute lang natin yung 4-1 dun sa inequality which is x plus y is greater than 3. So, x plus y is greater than 3. So, in place of x, 4. In place of y, 1. So, 4 plus 1 is greater than 3. So, let's add 4 and 1. That is 5. Greater than 3. Is 5 greater than 3? This is true. Ibig sabihin, kung nasaan yung portion na 4, 1, doon natin isi-shade yung uh, plane. Now, we will plot the x-intercept and y-intercept. So, yung uh, x-intercept na 3, 0, ayan po. And then, yung y-intercept naman, ayun, 0, 3. And then, so you can see, yung line na ginamit natin dyan is broken line. It's because greater than yung inequality symbol. And then, yung ating test point kanina is 4, 1. So, ayan po yung test point natin na 4, 1. So, pasok po siya dun sa shaded uh, region. And then, naging true po siya kanina. Sinabstitute natin siya dun sa x plus y is greater than 3. Let's have another example. Graph 3x minus 4y is greater than or equal to negative 12. So again, the first step, we will replace the inequality symbol with an equal sign. So magiging 
3x minus 4y is equal to negative 12. Next, graph the resulting equation by getting the x and y intercepts. To get the x intercept, set y to 0. To get the y intercept, set x equals 0. So, kagaya lang ng ginawa natin kanina, sulat lang natin yung ating resulting equation na 3x minus 4y is equal to 12, negative 12. And then, we will uh, get the x-intercept by setting y to 0. So, magiging 3x minus 4 times 0 is equal to negative 12. So, basically, itong 4 times 0 na to, magiging 0. So, matitira na lang po is 3x is equal to negative 12. And then, we divide uh, both sides by 3. So, yung sagot po natin dito is x equals negative 4. Ayan, to, negative 12 divided by 3, that is negative 4. So, yung x-intercept natin dito, negative 4, 0. Next, 3x minus 4y is equal to negative 12. Kunin natin yung y-intercept. So, isa-substitute natin yung 0 in place of x. 3 times 0 minus 4y is equal to negative 12. 3 times 0, that is 0. So, matitira na lang po negative 4y equals negative 12. And then, we divide both sides by negative 4 para mawala yung numerical coefficient ng y. So, y is equal to negative 12 divided by negative 4, that is positive 3. Now, the y-intercept will be 0, 3. So, yung x-intercept natin is negative 4, 0. Yung y-intercept natin is 0, 3. So, in next step natin, we will identify what type of line will be used. So, makikita nyo dyan, yung inequality symbol natin is greater than or equal to. Meron siyang guhet sa ibaba ng greater than symbol. That is why, solid line po ang gagamitin natin sa pag -graph. So, again, pag wala siyang guhet sa ibaba, broken line ang gagamitin. Next, determine which part of the plane will be shaded by choosing one test point. So, kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina, pipili tayo ng isang test point. So, usually po ang ginagamit ng test point po dito is yung coordinates ng origin, which is 0, 0. So, para mas mabilis na lang, pwede nyo namang gamitin yun or any uh, point na nasa coordinate plane. So, for this example, we will be using negative 3 and 5. So, let's, ident uh, let's substitute negative 3, 5 to the given inequality. So, 3x minus 4y is greater than or equal to negative 12. So, 3 times the value of x, that is negative 3, minus 4 times the value of y, which is 5, is greater than or equal to negative 12. Next, 3 times negative 3, that is negative 9. Negative 4 times 5, that is negative 20, is greater than or equal to negative 12. Now, negative 9 minus 20, that is negative 29, greater than or equal to negative 12. Is negative 25, 29 greater than or equal to negative 12? That is false. Mas malaki po ang negative 12 kaysa sa negative 29. Now, we will be plotting the x-intercepts and uh, x-intercept and y-intercept. So, yung x-intercept natin na negative 4, 0, ayan po siya. And then, yung 0, 3, ayan. So, as you can see, yung ginamit po natin na line dyan is solid line. And then, ayan po yung graph ng 3x minus 4y is greater than or equal to negative 12. So, kung magtataka kayo, uh, greater than ang symbol, uh, inequality symbol natin pero yung uh, lower portion ng nakashade it's because naging false nga po yung ating 
uh, sagot kanina dun sa isang test point na kinamit natin. It doesn't mean na greater than yung symbol, lagi siyang upper portion, yung nakashade. Pag naman, less than laging uh, lower portion. So, depende pa rin po dun sa resulta ng uh, test point. So, yung test point po natin is negative 3, 5. Nakitang kita naman na wala po sa shaded region na naka-shade na yan yung kulay blue. So, nasa labas po siya. That is why lower portion po yung naka-shade. So, ayan. Bilugan natin. So, ito po yung negative 3, 5. So, eh, nakalabas po siya sa shaded region na kulay blue. Pero kapag itong negative 3, 5, naging true siya dun sa ating uh, inequality na yan, ayan yung ginuhuitan ko, yung shaded region po natin is hindi po yung nasa ibaba, kundi nasa itaas, dito sa portion ng negative 3, 5. So, after natin i-discuss yung pag ng linear inequalities in two variables, we will be solving problems involving linear inequalities in two variables. So, i-discuss ko po dyan yung systems of linear inequalities in two variables. Na kung saan, dalawang linear inequality na yung nakagrap sa isang coordinate plane. So, kung matatandaan nyo, meron tayong video nyan nung first quarter natin, yung systems of linear equations in two variables. So, kung paano yung systems of linear inequalities in two variables, habangan po natin sa susunod na video lesson. So, yun lang. Maraming salamat.